This is still your election command center. The NPP flag bearer, Dr. Mohamed Dubaomia from the Greater Accra region, is now dashing off to the Ashanti region, and that's where we're going now uh, because Dr. Mohamed Dubaomia is now saying the NPP has not mismanaged the economy. Addressing party supporters at Nungwa Krowo. Uh, in the Greater Accra region, which is what we've just heard. That happened last night. But I want to take you to the Ashanti region now, where we know uh, that he is uh, vice presidential candidate, uh, Dr. Mati Poku Prempe, you may know him as Napo, has taken his campaign to Swami Magazine Enclave, really important uh, area for the NPP, to spell out government's plans for them when retained. Ibrahim Abubakar is with the team. He's joined us with a bit more uh, from Swami. Uh, Ibrahim, good afternoon to you. Obviously, Swami, a very important constituency for the NPP. What exactly are they hoping to tell the people of Swami Magazine today? Well, exactly, he has been engaging with that artisans as I speak currently, he's engaging with them. But you know, um, he's telling them about the plans government has for them with regards to even the um, training on electric vehicles. Because just yesterday, we know Dr. Mahmoud Baumia launch the electronic vehicles and um, that have been brought into the country. So he said the MPP has plans to train them so that they will be able to manage these vehicles effectively. Okay. Now they even want to move from just uh, fixing vehicles to even production or manufacturing of vehicle parts so that they will be able to get more jobs and do. Because as it stands, uh, if they, their schools are not upgraded, and by 2030, with the hope um, all these diesel vehicles will, will face out for electronic vehicles, they, they will be left out and they, they wouldn't be able to fix mm. any um, vehicle. So now they are giving them all this assurance and also the assurance of uh, reducing tax imports so that whenever they are bringing spare parts, they will be able to plan effectively and make sure that the goods will not come before they go in search of money. Let's take a listen to what Dr. Macho Koku Prempe has been telling the artisans here at Swami Magazine. This is here, like I say, there are 17,000 electric vehicles in Ghana. And you have a little about it. It is a magazine for an engineer of one, Jeffrey Frank. And then I can go there to my name. And then, from 2030, no longer. Oh, yeah, so I can get an industry, so I can't have a good job. Oh, those ones come in. It was a hard man, I'm a good kind of woman, you see, and I don't have any. I don't have a good one. If I don't have a good one, as you told me, oh, people are coming in. It is how it is every day. I don't know if the city chili garage will be there. Send me a performance here. Petrol car, all the gas is now too much. In your answer, you will be here. I can't wait to my agent to my lab in Los Angeles. That is it. I am. You feel it. 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 Well, uh, Matthew Poku Prempe is the MPP's vice presidential candidate. Ibrahim, uh, we know that the incumbent member of parliament did not throw his hat uh, in the ring as, as far as this race is concerned. Oh. It's a new kid on the ticket. Talk to us about how the race is, the, no, you know, no. the parliamentary well, race is playing out. Well, um, this constituency um, is, is a done deal for the new patriotic party. In fact, you know, Lawyer John Dako is a new kid, but not entirely new because consistently for the past um, two elections, he has availed himself to uh, show him his intention to contest. But um, unfortunately, he couldn't have the opportunity to be the parliamentary candidate for the new Patriotic Party. So he's a known person, and I know the NDC has also intensified the campaign. But we look at the vote margin over there. Um, past year, since 1992. Yeah, so um, it is going to be a heavy task for the NDC to be able to snatch this. But 
They believe it is a done deal for them, but they are also intensifying their campaign just so they widen the margin and ensure that um, and ensure that um, president or um, their running mate have a decisive victory here or the presidential. Indeed, Ibrahim. It, it looks like, you know, your surroundings have got busy. We'll have to leave it here. Thank you so much for talking to us. Ibrahim Abubakar is our Shanti Region correspondent. He joined us from Swami Magazine.